Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we have two goals. It's very similar to the last video. The first goal is to create some comment authorization middleware and the second goal is to use that middleware in the necessary routes. And this is where I'm going to issue you another challenge. Your challenge is to do just that. Create this middleware yourself and then import it and use it in the comment routes. Um, I highly recommend you use the item authorization middleware as a reference. That's the check comic owner, because what you're going to end up creating is going to be very, very similar to this, except it's going to be comments instead of comics with some very minor changes. Um, also remember that the ID of the comments are um, passed as comment ID, not as ID, because request.params.id refers to the comic. Request.params.comment ID refers to the comments. So go ahead and do that, test, make sure it works, and then once you are done, hit play. All right, I hope that went well. Let's go ahead and do it together. So step one is going to be to create our new uh, middleware. So touch utils slash, I'm gonna call this check comment owner dot js. I'm gonna start by just copying all of this over. So, and then we can just update. So we don't need a comic, we need a comment. So check comment owner. I'll copy and paste that down there. So check if the user is logged in. If logged in, check if they own the comic. And you can you don't have to have these um, comments if you don't want to. That's comment equals await comment. Find request params dot comment ID. If comment.owner.id equals request.users on ID next, else redirects back. And then if they're not logged in, redirect to slash login. And that should do it unless I made any typos. So let's no daemon. And then inside of our comments, we're going to import that. There we go. Const check comment owner equals require dot dot slash utils slash check comment owner and for the new comment we don't want that for the create comment we don't want that but for the edit we do and then same thing for the update and for the delete so let's save that see if I get any errors I do not sweet so let's go ahead Right here, we don't have any comments, so I'm going to have to log in first, test, test, and add a comment so that we can actually test it. So add, test, comment. So now we have a test comment, so let's log out. And then inside of here, first let's just try to delete it just to see if we can. Nope, it's going to make us log in, so let's log in. Scooby do. And here, let's see if we can edit this comment. Nope, not allowed. Although it is spinning, what did I do wrong? Why is it still spinning? Can I read property ID of undefined? That is in line seven. So let's see, comment.owner.id. Oh, it's because we used a different name in comment, didn't we? comment.user.id, comment.user. So let's save that. This will restart our server. Go back and refresh. And we still got this comment. Let's try and edit it. It's not going to let us. So let's log into Scooby. And now let's come in and try and edit it again. Nope, can't do that. And now we're not spinning anymore. Let's try and delete it. Nope, not allowed. So let's add another comment and just double check Scooby. And let's try and delete this one or edit this one. Yep, so we do. We're allowed to edit our own and we're allowed to delete our own, but not other people's. Working as intended. In this video, we created some comment authorization middleware. We imported and used this middleware into our comment routes. And that's it for this week. Next week, we're going to be working on some UI improvements and then transition to Git and GitHub and deploying with Heroku. 
What this means, and this is very exciting, is that by the end of next week, you will have a full stack web application that is deployed to the internet. It won't be perfect, it may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but you will have created a full stack application that is deployed on the internet that anyone can access. It's very exciting, I think, and this is an awesome milestone in your developer journey. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.